been slow progress searching the wreckage of that collapsed Florida condo building. Rescuers in Surfside, north of Miami, are now in the sixth day of their search for survivors. Since Thursday, they've only found bodies. Uh, there are 11 confirmed deaths so far, while 150 people remain unaccounted for. A makeshift memorial is growing near the site of the collapse with photos of the missing attached to a chain link fence near the property. People come to the wall to pray and leave flowers. Dozens of rescuers are still combing through the debris around the clock. The Miami-Dade mayor says many families are coping with the news that their loved ones may not come out alive. A tropical depression has formed into a tropical storm off of the coast of South Carolina. The National Hurricane Center says the tropical storm Danny made landfall Monday evening with winds of about 40 miles per hour. Tropical storm warnings were issued along the coast of South Carolina from Edisto Beach northeastward to South Santee River. This, the warning includes the city of Charleston, South Carolina, and officials say winds are expected to strengthen to 40 miles an hour before landfall. Fall. An expected one to three inches of rain could also cause some flash flooding. The U.S. Supreme Court handed a victory to a transgender student who was not allowed to use the bathroom of his choice. The court decided not to take up the case of Gavin Grimm of Virginia, who was denied access to the boys' bathroom by the county school board. At issue was whether federal anti-discrimination law applied to LGBTQ students. By passing on the issue, the high court allowed Grimm's victory in the appeals court to remain intact. Lower courts had struck down rules that prohibit transgender students from using school bathrooms that correspond with their gender identity.